Welcome guys to the Crazy Hands Knitting and Crocheting channel and in this video tutorial I want to show you how to knit really gorgeous socks. These are two needle socks, seamless and really beginner friendly, especially if you want to learn how to knit socks on two needles only. For these socks I was using 3.5 millimeters knitting needles double pointed also you will need you will need four stitch markers or even six and today i am using cozy wool merino yarn i know it's not the sock yarn but you can choose any yarn and as you see it's written it is light yarn number three you can also check your gauge on my blog uh, compare it if you have any concerns these socks are done for the size uh, seven six seven you can of course make it uh, longer and bigger really uh, the pattern is easy just follow all the written instruction or the a video tutorial and I'm sure you can do it with me. So let's get started. Place two needles together and cast on 21 stitches using long tail cast on method like this. Remove one needle and let's start with ribbing slip the first stitch, it's a salvage stitch, after that we will knit ribbon, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, and go on knitting like this till the end, knit one, purl one, the end knit one and purl the last salvage stitch we will always purl it turn now again slip the first stitch and go on knitting ribbon so you see the purl stitch now the first stitch is purl so purl it purl one after that knit stitch knit it knit one Purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, and so on till the end. At the end, purl one and purl the last salvage stitch. Now go on knitting ribbon back and forth until you reach seven or eight centimeters and please stop on the right side. It means you have to knit an odd number. I'm going to knit 15 rows in total. So I've done 15 rows as you see, I am on the right side now. Please knit 17, it will be even better. For the other socks, I've done 17. So you see, it's uh, almost seven centimeters, but you can make even eight, it will be even better. So we are on the right side. And from this row, we start knitting the main pattern. And here, please, I suggest you placing the stitch marker on the salvage stitch from the right side and from the left side. That is below here. 
After that, it will be easier when we are going to knit a sole and attach both sides together. Please do it, it's important. Now, if you have another number of stitches, the central part, the cable, that beautiful lace cable, consists of 15 stitches. So, 15 stitches in the center. Two stitches, uh, first and the last stitch, it's a salvage stitches, and two stitches after and before the last stitch. After the first stitch and before the last stitch will be just knitted in garter stitch. So let's start. Slip the first stitch, knit two, these two stitches, and from now we start the cable, knit three. After that we will make a right leaning decrease, so knit two together. right leaning. Now knit two, yarn over from front to back. Now purl one, again yarn over, knit two, and now we will make left leaning decrease. Slip, knit, pass over, left leaning decrease, and knit three. Okay, and you have this again, knit two, you can say knit five in total, just saying for you if you have another number of uh, stitches, and for the last salvage stitch, turn and Row number two and all other even rows will be the same. So slip the first stitch, knit two, after that purl seven, the yarn over, purl it through the front loop to make a hole. And the central stitch knit one and again purl seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. At the end, knit two and purl the last salary stitch. Row number three, there will be in total eight rows. Slip the first stitch, knit two. Okay, now the central part, again, knit two. Right leaning decrease, knit two together. Now knit two, yarn over, Knit one, central stitch, purl one, knit one, yarn over, knit two. Now left leaning decrease, slip, knit, pass over. Then knit four, so knit two here and side stitches, knit two and purl the last salvage stitch. Row number four will be the same as row number two. I will show you once more. Knit two, now purl seven and yarn over stitch, purl through the front loop, don't forget. Then the central stitch, this one needed, and then again purl seven. Need two, and purl the last. 
salvage stitch. Great. Turn. Row number five. Slip the first stitch, then knit two and the central part. Here, knit one, right linear decrease, knit two together, knit two, yarn over, knit two, curl one, knit two, yarn over, knit two, left linear decrease, slip. Knit, pass over, knit three, knit one, knit two here, and purl the last salvage stitch. Row number six, same as row number two. Uh, now, row number seven. Slip the first stitch. Knit two right away, right linear decrease, knit two together, then knit two, yarn over, knit three, one, two, three, curl one, central stitch, knit three, yarn over, knit two, and left linear decrease, slip, knit, pass over. At the end, knit two and throw the last salvage stitch. Row number eight will be the same as row number two, you remember. And after that, repeat once more these eight rows. Here I am, that's what I have at this moment. And please, again, let's measure first of all. Uh, almost 11 centimeters. If it, if it will be 12, it will be even better. So that's how it will look. This part will cover the ankle till the heel. So till the heel. After that, we will start kneading the part that will cover foot and toes. Again, please take the stitch markers and place them on the right side and on the left side, down. So the one row down and from this side. So what we are going now, we are going to repeat eight, these eight rows until we reach desired length. For the size seven, I'm going to repeat five more times rows one to eight. So slip the first stitch here right away, knit five. Now knit two together, knit two, yarn over, curl one, yarn over, knit two. Now left leaning decrease, slip, knit, pass over, and knit five. So we repeat row number one and close the last selvage stitch. Row number two, you remember, it will be selvage stitch, knit two, curl seven, knit one, curl seven, knit two, and selvage stitch again. Go on repeating last eight rows for five more times. Here I am. So I've done in total 56 rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and seven repetition and now we will start with the 
toe part also don't forget again place stitch markers here and here perfect let's measure the length so 24 so as as you understand it can be longer and now we will make decreases for the toe part yeah like this decreasing one stitch on the right side and on the left side making a triangle and after that we will make increases divide all stitches in three parts so in my case it's seven 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 and leave only seven stitches in the center so make decreases until you get seven stitches in the center if you have another number of stitches for example you have one extra added into the center I mean when you divide by three if you have two extra stitches add them to the right side and to the left side okay so let's get started and if I didn't say the toe part we are going to need in garter stitch slip the first stitch and knit all other stitches until you have three stitches so we need 18 need this stitch as well and now knit two together just make a decrease and purl the last sewage stitch great and turn on the wrong side we will again make decreases at the end slip the first stitch knit all stitches knit 17 together with salvage stitch okay now again make a decrease knit two together and draw the last salvage stitch turn that's what we have and now we will go on making decreases in the same way knitting till the end until you have three last stitches make a decrease here at the end then purl the last stitch and again knit 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 and make a decrease here and like this until you have seven stitches on your needles so here I am and that's what I have seven stitches right again let's measure this part uh, about four centimeters maybe a little bit less and now we will start making increases and we will make a sole the sole will be done as well in garter stitch so here we start right away knitting the first stitch knit it and knit all other stitches till the end so knit seven and knit the last stitch so knit all seven stitches now find salvage stitches that is going down the next not this one where the stitch is coming from but the next one so you see the next one and after so we will work with these salvage stitches 
and we will work only with one loop that is closest to the right side of the sock and poke it always from front to back and pearl the last like, like it's salvage stitch turn so we added one stitch again you start knitting the first stitch and all other stitches till the end so knit eight now again find the next salvage stitch and the loop that is closest to the right side so this loop and poke it from front to back you see we always work with the loop that is closest to the right side once it's front, once it's back and purl it. You can also count stitches till the stitch marker. So we decreased seven stitches and, and seven salvage stitches you can count down and like this you can help yourself to find the right salvage stitch. Again, knit nine Now find the next salvage stitch. I find it really easier if you count from the stitch marker down. And so this is the next one. So we don't count this stitch. Where is the stitch marker? One, two, three, four, five, six. We added already one stitch on the right and on the left side. So we are going to add one more in total seven. As you remember we decreased seven stitches now poke this stitch I mean only the loop that is closest to the right side from front to back and purl one turn let's do it here again knit ten three four five six seven eight 9, 10. So where is the next one? We can count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So here is the next one. And please find the loop that is closest to the right side and poke it from front to back and purl 1. Like a salvage stitch. Turn and again knit 11 now the next one is here you can count if you want to double check and pro so this this salvage stitch will be number five from the stitch marker now need 12 and find the next one poke it from only a loop not the whole stitch one two three four five so this one from front to back and purl purl it and you see we we are rounding the toe part and like this go on making increases until you get 21 stitches and you reach these two stitch markers so here I am you can remove these two stitch markers so the last one 
the last stitch marker here need 20 and this is 21 purl one that's it look how beautiful it is remove stitch markers and now we will need in garter stitch a little bit differently but still and we will need in garter stitch until we reach this part and then we will need a heel really easy you will see so here we start slipping the first stitch please pay attention and knit until you have two stitches on your needles now what you are doing knit two together and again we need to pick up one more stitch from the next salvage stitch again find the loop that is closest to the right side and you need to poke it as you remember from front to back in this way and purl one so we decreased at the end and we added right away slip the first stitch knit 17 knit 18 sorry knit 18 now knit two together find the next salve stitch and the loop the loop that is close to the right side from back to front and purl turn and let's do it again slip the first stitch knit 18 at the end knit two together Find the next salvage stitch and this slope and purl one. Turn, let me show you one more row. I hope it's clear. Slip the first stitch, knit 18. knit two together here is the next sewing stitch and the loop I hope you can see it like this and purl one so go on knitting the sole until you reach these two stitch markers here I am, sorry, it's another color already, another socks, because I'm in love with these socks. 
doing the second pair right away. Okay, so that's what we have at this moment. And now we will start knitting the heel. The heel will be done in the same way as the toe part. First we will decrease, making a triangle, and then we will increase. And pick up stitches from the right and left side. So, slip the first stitch, knit all stitches until you have three stitches. Now knit two together and purl one. And again, we will decrease until we have seven stitches like we did on the toe part. If you have another number of stitches, also make it the same as that toe part, the central stitches that we left. When you turn again, knit all stitches. At the end, knit two together and purl the last salvage stitch. So, again, slip the first stitch, knit all stitches at the end, knit two together, purl one, turn, slip, knit all stitches, knit two together, purl the salvage stitch, until you have seven stitches on your needles. Here I am. And now we will start joining the heel. So, knit all stitches. And now again, find the... We will pick up these seven Sally stitches. Find the loop. This one. If you want, you can count seven salary stitches, four, five, six, seven, and purl it. Turn, knit all stitches again, knit eight already. Find the next salvage stitch. And pick up the loop that is closest to the, to the sole or to the right side again and curl it. Now turn and let's repeat. Knit nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So front loop you need here, this one, poke it from front to back in this way and curl one. Turn now. Go on knitting again, knit the last stitch, find again, then the salvage stitch and the loop that is closest to the, sorry, the loop that is closest, this one to the right side, up, 
and curl one. Please go on making increases until you get the same 21 stitches and until you reach stitch markers. Here I am and that's what I have. Look at this beautiful, very beautiful heel. Now we go on knitting in garter stitch like what we did for the sole. But before I start working in the stitch with the stitch marker, I want to work through these bars. So to need to need two more rows back and forth just to get rid of holes that might appear. So let's do it together. Slip the first stitch. And need 18. At the end, knit two together as we did. And now we need to pick up one loop but not from the stitch but in between here in the corner just to get rid of the holes so you see here's find the for example this one not the first one but the second bar here and curl one and repeat the same here on the wrong side slip knit 18 And then knit two together, but we need to pick up one more stitch. Again, find the bar. No, this this is too long. Maybe this one. Just try it. This one is good. And pearl one. Now remove stitch markers and go on knitting. picking up salvage stitches. So slip the first stitch, knit 18 like we did on the sole. At the end, knit two together. Great. Now find the loop. The next stitch, the waist stitch, and this loop. Poke it again from front to back. And pearl one. Turn. Slip the next stitch. Knit all stitches till the end, until you have two stitches. At the end, knit two together. Again, find the next salvage stitch. Oop. 
and purl one and so on let's do it once more slip the first stitch knit 18 Knit two together at the end. Like this. And pearl one. So I hope it's clear like this. You go on knitting this part until you reach place with two stitch markers and I will show you how to knit ribbon after. Here I am, so look how nice is it. Almost no holes as you see. And now let's finish knitting ribbon. Remove this stitch marker and this one and let's start. Slip the first stitch, knit one, purl one, ribbon, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. Knit one, purl one till the end. At the end, knit one. So slip the purl stitch. Now find again the loop that is closest to the right side, poke it from front to back just a second return the last stitch and purl two together like this Turn and again slip. You see the pearl stitch, the first one, then pearl one, knit one, pearl one, knit one, pearl one, knit one. Pearl one, the last stitch, knit stitch, slip it to the right hand needle, now find the bar again, this one, and return the last stitch to the left hand needle and knit these two stitches together knit two together turn on the right side the last two stitches we purl two together on the wrong side we knit two together Slip the first stitch, after that knit ribbon, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit 
need one per one. Last stitch slip to the right hand needle, find the loop of the next salvage stitch. This one. And pearl two together. Turn and on the wrong side, sorry, the first stitch, slip the first stitch, pearl one, knit one, pay attention please, pearl one, knit one, Pearl one, knit one, pearl one. Now slip the last stitch to the right hand needle, find the next loop. And knit two together. So you see the ribbon, please go on and I will see you at the end, at the end. When you pick up the last stitch, the very last stitch, pick it up underneath both loops, not just one loop, but both loops. Now return slip stitch and knit two together. So that's it. You see there will be no holes here. And okay. Now let's bind off. Bring the working yarn in front in this case. Slip the first stitch, knit one, and slip the first stitch over the second stitch, and so on. Then the next stitch was purl stitch, you purl it, then slip over. And again, knit one, slip over, purl one, slip over. Usual bind off method. So that's how it looks, go until the end. At the end, when you have last stitch, let's cut the yarn and let's join the last stitch and the first one, the front part. You can use a yarn needle to help yourself or a hook. So find the first stitch and insert the needle underneath both loops. Return to the last stitch and insert from front to back underneath the back loop. So here it is. And that's how the sock is looking now. Please weave in ends. Here I will make a knot. And that's it. With in all ends, don't forget to wash this up. It will look much, much better. I promise you. 
and repeat everything for the second one and look how cute and really gorgeous it is i'm not sure was it too hard for you please let me know how it was was it easy or was it a challenging for you what is your result you can share with me tagging me in your social medias or just sending me a picture i'm always happy to share after your project with everyone thank you again for joining me today please don't forget to subscribe like this video and leave comments if you have any questions the written instructions you can find on my blog bye